All right, in this video, we're going to walk through conditional fields that shipped as part of Expression Engine 6.3. So for starters, I have a channel for events set up. We're going to go in here. And what you'll notice is this is set up similar to how it would be set up uh, prior to conditional fields. In this case, we have a event. There is a toggle set. Is this a digital event? Um, there's a zoom link and an address. So one of the solutions that conditional fields gives us is in the past, both the zoom link and the address field would often be marked as required or not required. Uh, unfortunately, that can result in a content integrity issue in the system. So uh, basically, if it's a digital event, you still have to fill out the address. So you just put, you know, garbage junk in there, if you will. Um, in addition to that, uh, it also raises the content admin experience by making it more streamlined to just what the content admin needs. So, okay, let's go ahead and dive into conditional fields. So if we go to fields and let's go over to our zoom link field in this case, we're going to scroll down and we're going to toggle the make conditional. So what you'll notice right off the bat is that we have a series of conditions that come up, um, our condition options, select a field. We want to go ahead and select, is this a digital event? And we have the option to say, is it turned on or off? So, uh, this is going to match when the is a digital event is turned on and then we can set the match all or any conditions. All right, so let's go ahead and save it. Let's save here. So if we go to our entries and create a new entry, now what you notice is the zoom link is here, but if I turn this to not be a digital event, then the zoom link disappears. Great. Uh, let's go take care of the address field as well. So fields, address, and if we go down, we'll hit make conditional. We're basically going to add the inverse conditional on this one. So we're going to go here and we're going to say when it is turned off. So it is not a digital event. Then we want the address field to show up. While I'm here, I want to demonstrate one more thing. Uh, if I hit add condition and let's select our zoom link, what you'll notice is the operators will change on a per field type basis, depending on what is appropriate. So for instance, toggle, it's really either on or off. Those are the only two options. Uh, this is a text input. So you could say is, uh, is not, is empty. It has any value. It contains a given word or it does not contain a given word. Uh, those are all the operators for the text input. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. All right, let's go ahead and save this one and let's go over to entries, add a new entry. And what you'll notice is the address field is not present. So if we go here, we can toggle this off. Okay, great. Then it, the address field shows up and we toggle it back on and the address field is uh, no longer present and the zoom link field is. Let's go over to our toggle field now real quick and take a look at that. So if we go over to our toggle field and we scroll down, what you'll notice is there's a new section here called conditionals and it says this field is being used as a conditional for the fields listed below. And then it lists the fields that are using this field in conditional logic. We thought it was important to reference this material on the edit screen for the given field as you really want to be able to update this field in a manner that will stay congruent with the conditional logic set up for it already. So similarly, uh, one more thing I want to show you is if we go over here to our address field, for instance, and we scroll down, let's just add another condition real quick. We'll choose zoom link and we'll say have a, has any value. We'll hit save. Uh, what you'll notice here is after there's entries in the system, it'll actually bring you to this interstitial page. This interstitial page gives you the ability to apply all of the conditional logic uh, that this field has through the system. So basically run through all the entries and determine if this equates to true or false, that type of thing. Uh, and then it'll set up the um, content admin screen accordingly. Uh, it'll also set it up for uh, how it will parse in the tempo parser. So that's about it for conditional fields. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, let us know.